So as promised in this video, I'll be trading Ryan's $10 account as a giveaway. And as you can see here, he sent me a video logging in his small account. So when I'm done trading the account, you also send me another video logging in back again. So do keep watching the video, okay? Um, Ryan here is not the only winner of the giveaway. He's just the first one to get his hands on it. So which means I will keep giving everyone more chances to receive the giveaway. So here comes more chances for you. Um, I've created two more YouTube channels, Legend of the Quasimodo and the Prince of Nasdaq. And I'll be picking four random subscribers, meaning two from each channel and two from the comment section of the videos posted there. So you have actually six chances, which is a win-win for everybody. So go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. I will pick the first two winners in 48 hours, okay? I'll pick the first two winners in 48 hours. So go ahead and start commenting and subscribe. So the link to the new channels are in the description of this video. Or you can just scroll down on the home tab of my YouTube channel. You can actually see them there and start winning. So here, I've also logged in his account in my phone. But before I start flipping, let me just address this comment real quick. So this guy wants to see if my account is real or not. Okay. Um, one thing you should know about, about traders by now, guys. Never ask a trader's p &L statement. Just don't, okay? Don't go there. Unless, maybe if you are prepared to fight, then um, okay. You can actually do that. But don't do that, okay? As for me, um, I really don't like to show off my accounts because... I will have to go through all this trouble of hiding my account names and shit for some reason. Super annoying. But since you requested and you are one of my fans, let me just show you one of my accounts. The one I use here and there, which is my SVG account. So I decided to make a small loss here and boom 1000 so that I can show you the difference between a loss and a withdrawal. Okay. So these are my trades for the last month. I've been taking on this account. I haven't been trading it that much. I trade the Forex, um, the Forex account here. Then last year, I'm sure you can see the withdrawal there. If you go on a demo account in Deriv, you won't see those things there. You won't. Trust me, you won't. You can even go and check them out yourself. So let's go and profit here. These are the balances I've withdrawn on this account. This is why I made a loss so that I can show you the difference between a balance and a loss in boom or in any pair. So, yeah, this is one of my accounts. This is one of my accounts, the SVG account and a Deriv. Okay, so let's go. So I know most of us really like to trade fundamental analysis and financial news, right? So this ad is sponsored by Fast Bull. Um, so Fastboo is a great website and I usually use the 724 news and economic calendar for my trading analysis and this trading app shows you different types of course to trade using high impact news and AI signals. Okay, so here's what you do. Um, you click on the news tab right here. You watch the news there and you have some insight. Then move on to codes. Click any pair you want. Then choose the suitable time frame. See some technical analysis there and insightful news to perfect up your analysis. Then go on the economic calendar. Click any day of the week you want to expect the news and use the stars as a ranking system. So they work like this. The ones with one star will have impactful news which are less. Then the ones with good um, will be two stars and then the ones with three stars will give very high impactful news. Um, so their AI gives good signals. So if you go all in, you might actually have the pleasures of cashing in a lot of money, but then you can also lose it the same way. So please don't just follow signal blindly. Use stop losses and apply maximum risk management. Don't just apply Sejex non-stop loss king here while trading the news. Okay. Just trade fairly. Okay. Um, so you can also go on the pro tab here and actually choose whether um use the fundamental or technical analysis to increase up your analysis before entering a trade. Then, when you go to the signal here, you can actually see pending signals and the ones which are active, the AI signal will straight up tell you to buy or to sell and you can actually see if it's in profit or in loss in the current time and the SL and the TP will be labeled for you to just follow up easily. So yeah, 
you can use the links in the description all right so let's start playing with ryan's account here so here in volatility 75 we're gonna start trading it with the send dollar account so i saw a setup here in volatility 75 in the 30 minutes time frame and i decided to immediately put my sell orders there because let's zoom in um there was a break out of the trend line right there and then this was the 30 minutes time frame so it was very invalid and it made a fake out yes it made a breakout and a pullback it seemed like the correct trade it was going to buy but no since it was a 30 minutes time frame 30 minute time frame is a snake don't trust the 30 minutes time frame i've said that before over and over again don't trust the 30 minutes time frame it's a snake okay you only trust the four hour time frame so since this was a fake out it was bound to go down so there you go that is why i decided to sell so that it can go down to the trend line the trend line was my tp but you know as the non-stop loss gang i forgot and you know it got even lower than that but anyway profit is profit especially if you are correct oh you will love it so here in volatility 10 1 s i'm buying again why am i buying here i did not use the 30 minutes time frame no i used the four hour time frame as well as the one hour time frame but then in the one hour time frame i saw a pattern which was a flag okay it was a flag meaning a flag meaning according to this pattern it was going to go full bullish okay that is why i decided to buy there oh don't worry about the h4 thinking that it's going to go down back in the trend line with a huge wick no it's not going to do that because in the one hour here when it broke out it touched the top bollinger band right and then it got down with the sale the usual resistance which i usually trade but then but then it closed outside the trend line and inside the higher time frame it closed outside the trend line then that was my um signal to place my buy entries over there so um i will now measure the the tp right after i show you there that it even tried to break before there and then it made a fake out just like the previous trade i had when it makes a fake out it always goes down to the to the trend line below it always goes down there so when you're trading and it makes a fake out you might want to know that it will go down to that road and make sure it's a high time frame not the 15 or the 30 those time frame are real snakes okay so here in the one hour time frame it's going to close outside the trend line because it has tried to break before and it failed so which means and it even broke downwards and also failed but then going upwards there we go it failed you see it closed outside okay so this is a perfect um setup for you to now go sharp entry and then go full margin boom so the first tp has been reached which is the normal and perfect tp which is the safest amongst all of them the first tp is the safest i recommend that i don't recommend the second tp it's very dangerous i don't recommend the second tp but as for me i will also not take this advice for myself i will take the second tp because you know i want more money so i also asked ryan that um if you'd like then we can stop you saw we have reached 500 i asked him and he said oh no bro let's go full margin what happens happens it happens so yeah we are trading 30 motions here oh no 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 don't be fooled we are trading with knowledge not without motions we are trading with knowledge okay this is simple knowledge if you trade using it then there won't be nothing to fear i mean yes mistakes happen here and there the second tp has been reached again boom so we are now in 600 so as i was saying um it doesn't mean if we have the knowledge we're not going to blow our accounts or make losses no but we are going to trade as men as real men with knowledge okay if you go wrong we'll, we'll say oh so we'll try again we'll just keep doing what we do 
we know at the end that we will recover our loss and make more profit. That's the difference between trading without emotions and trading with knowledge. Okay, that's the difference between trading without emotions and trading with knowledge. Okay, that's the difference. So there, this was a flag. You can see a bullish flag. So all the first and second TP were hit. I also asked Ryan if we can stop. For, so for each profit I was making, I was asking him if we should stop and you should take the money. He said, oh no, bro, let's go, let's go. I'll tell you when it's enough, I'll tell you. And you know, fear open greed is like me. We are both greedy traders. Oh, sorry, I forgot. And also you, you're also a greedy trader too. Yeah, if you are no stop loss gang, then you're just like the rest of us. You're all greedy. So this trade, I like it very much because it gives me um, a lot of confidence. You don't do that. You don't do that either. Yeah, you do that one. You draw touching many weeks so that your trend line can be very strong for the support and resistance. So after drawing that one, we can see that this is a pennant and it's the highest time frame, the four hour. So which means the, the price will respect the trends because that's the higher time frame, right? So there was a perfect breakout and a perfect pullback, meaning the price the price has been given a confirmation to keep going up so there's the first and second tp we're going to take all of them i also asked ryan whether i should go for margin again he said bro bro let's go let's go so i'm going to go for margin again but did you notice since it's a buy i'm going to sell here i'm just going to sell for a bit to show you that any trade whether it's a buy you can just do the opposite and get the profit so here the thing is that the price tends to go for the stop losses of the early buyers so i'm just i'm just i'm just i'm just taking the 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 sl taking a sell here to take the money of the early early buyers because when they buy too early they blow their account and that money is then transferred to me who has sold here but if you have um bought with a very low Lot size and a big capital. I'm sure you can survive the floating loss. I'm sure you can do that. But as for the rest of you um, who use for margin, you will blow your account on the trade which you are correct in. Okay. So you need to take notice of this. So after a while, you see, I'm now closing in profit. You know what I like about the Riff more is that a slight movement will give you a lot of profit. A slight movement. So here, I wanted it to touch 1000, but it went all in 970 and i want 1000 so that i can go back to ryan and ask if it's enough so since we are in 1000 this is why i decided to put a few more say orders so that i can reach 1000 i had reached it the first time but um a pullback hit me so then i asked ryan if he could stop then he said no no no, no. let's let's go let's keep going but do you know the painful part if I blow at this at this stage, well, it will be a bit painful because from seven dollars to one thousand, well, that's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. I'm sure you can do a lot of it with that money. As for me, as for me, when I'm done trading, I just want Ryan to give me my dollar. I want my dollar for working in this account. So, after some time, it finally went up, right? But the first TP had not been reached first, so. That is my confidence. That is my reason to keep in the trade. Two thousand years later. That is why I went back again with the buy. Day two, day three, day four. Yeah. So you can see the slightest movement is given me profit. So after a little while, the first TP has been raised. Like so, if. You had gone full margin and then the slightest movement will give you a lot of profit. But then it can also blow your account just like that. So you need to have a very accurate sharp entry like I'm doing here. There. This was a lot of full margining I did here. This was a lot. I'm sure Ryan is freaking out right now. She is freaking out. 
one eternity later. So, as I've said, I was trying to send the video, and he did, sending the video of him logging in after I've traded the account. So I've stopped there. I wanted to reach 5,000, but then Ryan said, um, I think that's enough, bro. Thank you. Thank you, that's enough. And I appreciate that he decided to stop. You know, at some point, I could even keep going and reach something like 10,000, but then I could have blown. Who never know? Who never knows? I could even blow. But I think I respect every decision when you stop at a certain level because you avoid those things okay